The reason why I do cosplay is to show like the disabled community that there's more to life than just being disabled. When I'm not dressed up in cosplay costumes, this is the real me. My name is Amber Guzman, I am 32, and cosplay saved my life. People always come up to me at conventions and they literally say, I can't believe you did this huge costume with your wheelchair because I love incorporating my wheelchair into my cosplays. You kind of just don't see it, so it is rare. It's rare to see a well-known cosplayer with disabilities out there. Yeah. Hi everybody, my name is Amber Kohaku-Chan. I am a disabled cosplayer. I love representing the disabled uh, community. I'm just so lucky to be here, so it's so nice to meet all of you. Uh, muscular dystrophy and how it affects me is it's a hereditary illness. I was 20 years old when I was diagnosed, but I started noticing that I was having more problems walking uh, after the age of like 15. It basically is uh, an illness that kills off your muscles and makes it hard for you to like rebuild your muscles. And so it was basically year after year I would lose like another ability and slowly lose something else and, and that's what the, has been progressing. Like that's basically why I call myself like a living doll. I will need help to sit up, I need help to bring my hands to my face. So that's why I try to do as much as I can now before all that is gone. And what do you need from the Maleficent? Just get the whole costume out, like the horns and the main armor, mm -hmm. and then the underneath piece. Oh, okay, sounds yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I met my husband at a gothic punk rock shop. I met him when I was 17. Yeah, so we've been together for a long time. I think the, before we were living life like any other couple, we would, you know, do stuff and be all young and free and crazy and wild and drink a lot or do, you know, parties and stuff. When she got diagnosed, it really hit us both real hard, you know? I care for her, I do it with love, so it doesn't cost me or I don't feel like it's a burden. I, I, I love to do it. I try to do my best and I try to do as much as I can to make sure that she lives a regular life, you know? Yeah, this piece, when I was making it, I was finished, like completely finished, and it was sitting on a mannequin and it unstrapped and fell off the mannequin and completely split in half and I had to like redo the complete inside. But yeah, I'm gonna glue this on because this just fell off and I'm just gonna take standard hot glue to, to put this back on and then uh, paint and fix some, some areas that could use uh, just a touch up before the next con and stuff. The reason why I do cosplay is to show like the community, especially like the disabled community, that there's more to life than just being disabled. I, I think when you become less mobile, you tend to think like, I can't do this, I won't be able to do that. And when you do stuff like cosplay, you instantly think, I can do this. We are going to go to Lavish Studios up in LA. Whenever I go up there, they're just very helpful, but it's perfect for people with, with like, with and without disabilities. Representing, um, you don't see it that much, is, is awesome. It's fun to be able to be that person for others. <laughs> I mean, I just use her as a motivation. She's the one with the sickness, or the illness, I should say. And uh, I don't see her not motivated. I don't see her, you know, complaining about certain things. And I'm like, if she doesn't complain, how am I gonna complain for these other little things that don't really have any significance in life? I'm very grateful to have her. And both of us learned so much from this illness. And we're, we're very thankful for 
for just being where we are because we could be in a way, way worse situation. He's my, my, my arms and my legs. He's, he's my everything. Like, thanks to him, he's, he's my muscle. He's my strength, yeah. Cosplay means so much to me because it, it's saved me from having to think like, man, I'm so sick, I, I can't do this, I can't move, I can't even get up to go to the bathroom by myself. But that's why I, I appreciate like cosplay and modeling and doing stuff like that because it occupies my mind from thinking about the negative. Yeah, because it'll, it'll kill you. It'll kill you if you just drown in depression. Having a disability doesn't mean your life is over. It doesn't mean that that's the end or that you have to stop your dreams or your accomplishments or goals. You could do whatever you want while being you know, disabled or in a wheelchair. It's just you might have to find a different route, but you could always still get to the end goal no matter what you're doing. Never give up on your dreams while being disabled.